next guest is a renowned political analyst, Mr. Kevin O'Brien Chan, joining us right now, and he's in studio with us. So we're going to yeah, get a, a review of the political atmosphere in Jamaica, of course, following yesterday's uh, People's National Party's conference. Good morning, sir. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Thanks for having me. Before we get specific, there's a, an English saying that says there's many a slip between the cup and the lip. The, the uh, general... We call it election. Now, election is not due until 2025. Does it matter where we are now? Because, as I said, anything can go on between now and then. Does it well, exactly. A poll, well, poll, so I want to give you a snapshot today. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow may be different. They're never famous saying a week is a long time in politics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A day. A day is a long <laughs> yeah. time in politics. But Westminster system, which we um, govern under, Prime Minister can call election any time. Remember 1983? with um, the Grenada Revolution and Edward Sager said, ah, good time and call election. It's within the power and it happens all over the world. Mm -hmm. so Do you get a sense that we're on the cusp? You never know. Mm -hmm. But look at it this way. The recent Blue Dot polls just came out Friday. The JLP is ahead. Not as far ahead as in the general election 2020, but still a good lead. Uh, there's a <coughs> thought that perhaps a recession might be coming to the US sometime soon. You don't know, right? You're a government, you say recession coming, I'm ahead in the polls, I said, rotted. I don't want to pull no election on the recession. Uh, let me just do it now. Suppose mm -hmm. the wholeness says, and the PNP have been balling for elections, and the wholeness could easily say, all right, no want elections, local government elections, well, let's save some money and do two in one, general and local government. He might get some pushback, or people might say, okay, um, you know, because Siago, 83 of going back. He called elections, PNP didn't run, but people felt he had taken advantage of the system. And in the long run, it hurt him, many people feel. Now, Jamaica, we've had 16 elections since 44. Eight incumbent win, eight, they boot them out. So incumbents in Jamaica gives you no advantage. And mm. if the people feel you've treated them unfairly, they will turn on you. Mm -hmm. Remember, Jamaica, you know, we're, we're blessed with one of the most vibrant democracies in the world. As I said, very few we're Incumbent have no advantage. Most of them, they have the, the feel like they're going to win back. But no government can. For example, 2007, 2011, 2016, all those three elections, the government called early election and got booted. Hmm. That's why this thing about fixed election date, I think it's irrelevant because Jamaica has no record of the incumbent having any great advantage. Let's talk about turnout. Um, I think we were at 37% the last elections, voter turnout. What, what is your sense now in terms of apathy or, or, or potential involvement? You know, it's, a, it's a bit of a myth. I've done... Apathy is a myth. Yeah, it, because it's, it, it's not like back in the day everybody's into politics. I've done a thing. The average percentage of the population voting. We don't have voting, we don't have um, voting age statistics, but the average percentage of the population is 31% since 1962. Um, it's not a, even in 93, 97, the turnouts were gigantic, 27% of the population. What has happened in the last 15, 20 years is this, more people have been registered. Are they more interested in voting? No, they want an ID. But isn't that an indicator? So, so, you see, so you see the percentage of the populace registered going up with the percentage of people voting is similar. Mm -hmm. And what I'm saying, you know one of the lowest turnouts Jamaica ever had? The referendum in 62. Jamaicans have always been into politics, but not into politics. Into it, and yeah, the church people not into it. The Rastas not into it. Some people feel no better herring, no better barrel. So we have never been uh, people that that really fanatic about politics. We've had the violence, but that was not the majority. And our highest turnout ever was 1980. Many countries have very high turnouts because they're very tribal. They're killing each other. We're tribal. But, you know, um, we used to kill each other a bit, in 80, that times. But times have changed. And nowadays, there's not much direct political violence. Yeah. The last election and the one before, you saw GLP and PNP hugging up and dancing together. Yeah. We have advanced in that way. Yeah. But the nostalgia about back in the day, what is the politics? No, it's, it's not quite. And the registration has people look at a low percentage of registration compared to before, but it doesn't reflect the reality, because so a lot of people just want the thing not to vote. And young people, people are always worried. They vote all over the world. Young people are interested in finding a mate, boyfriend, girlfriend, you know? Not until they get close to 30, you have children, 
you start paying taxes, you get involved in the politics. So it's just a reality. Jamaica is... I yeah. heard you say that on the radio the other day, and I'm yeah, wondering if that's actually what? the same thing that you just said. Because I hear a lot of young folks now talking, I guess they're talking about it, but you're saying, are they going to get involved? Is, that, is, is it a follow-through that you're talking about? Well, yeah, you get, you know, listen, when you, I talk to young people, I have a daughter at UA, and I ask her, she says, you know, she laughs, she says, most of us not into it. Mm. And, um, but, you know, but as, you, as I say, when the reality is, you start paying your taxes, you say, oh, I'm going to pay tax, I'm going to spend it. You have mm. a child, I'm worried about my child's future. When you're young and single and no worries, you don't worry about nothing. Yeah. Let's get a little specific. Uh, Mr. Golden said a couple of things, well, more than a couple, but just there one was tax threshold, threshold three Double. million. Mm -hmm. Make sense? He's, a, he's, he's um, what do you call it, gets, getting ahead of the game because it's why they felt they will increase it. And Damien King did a study Capri that it should go to 2.2 um, from 1.5. So he's getting ahead of the game. That's what a good politician does. He feels it's inevitable. When they come with it, he say, I told them I would do it, but they should do more. You know, it's, 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 only, it's good politics. That's how I saw it. What is your feeling coming out of yesterday's conference? Were you impressed by the showing? I saw people say, this seems like a different Mark Golding. He's fired up. Um, did you get that feeling that he connected more, resonated more? Well, from what, talking to people and watching it, it seemed to have a good turnout. The crowd seemed lively enough. Um, and one good thing is it's lively but less orderly. Jamaica is a very vibrant democracy, which I'd be happy about it. But sometimes it gets a little too vibrant, disorder, but seems to be vibrant but without the disorder. Mark Golding, one thing I hear people saying, he seemed like himself yesterday. He didn't do the fake part of business. He's what it is. He's a rich businessman that um, wants to do good for the country, but he's not a, a man on the ground, you know? So he's, he gave a speech like that, what he is. I am a good lawyer, my fam, a family of service, and spoke of the policies he wants to do. Um, so I thought it was a good speech, yeah. And it was, as I said, a lot of people talking about Mark Golding said, be yourself, Mr. Golding. Yeah. Don't pretend to be what we know you could not possibly be. Some people think that the, the PNP in recent times, they've been, I was going to say shooting themselves in the foot, but some people say they're shooting themselves, period. Um, because every minute you hear this man should be this. They need, or they need, they need yeah. more unity. Don Anderson, the famous pollster, wrote an article a few years ago, said divided parties don't win elections. And Mr. Golden, that's the number one thing to work on with the PNP. They, the Brad, Lisa brought in Damon Crawford, he didn't speak. Lisa Hanna, she didn't speak, but they were there. <coughs> I'm a little disappointed that even a word for Mr. Paul, will come with Paul, will we hope everything all right with your family. But Mr. Golding, if I was advising the PNP, I said, look, focus on the unity. People, if you're arguing among yourself, people are going to say, if you're arguing among yourself, how can you run the country? And yeah. Don Anderson said that, that it's one of the key things for any. And, you know, history is there, you know. Look at the JLP, 2000, from 1989, 2000 to 2007, they were disunited under Edward Siago. Not until Mr. Siago left, they won an election, 18 and a half years. And Mr. Golding should be looking, okay, I'm going to learn from Edward Siago. Whatever he, you know, not copy, not repeat his mistakes. You mentioned Damian Crawford, and that's where I was going to go next. Um, the polls you referenced, through mm -hmm. that polls, have Damian sh showing very, very well. Mm -hmm. um, was it a missed opportunity yesterday for him to not have had a slot to speak? I believe so. They should be grooming him, whether he is a parent or not, at least give people hope that, look, next generation, here's somebody, people like him. They have to get him a seat. And the Damien himself is a little disciplined. People like Damien. But sometimes his mouth runs away with him. He has to be more disciplined in what he says and say things that people hear to say, that makes sense. It's one thing to have a nice personality and all that. But people are going to start analyze your logic and say, hold on, is that making sense? So he himself needs to discipline when he speaks. But the PNP have to, they should put him up there. And he's not a threat to Mark Golding now. You know, politics is always... The enemy is behind, you know, not across. Hmm. Um, <laughs> so, but a different generation. So succession. Succession, succession plan and show that, you know, P man, maybe other people. And um, they should have given him even a little brief. Well, they did get the shot of him and, and, yeah, and Golding like, holding like, hands. I thought that like was very strategic. Minutes, and Damien just said something nice, you know, you need PNP unified, this and that. They, don't, they don't, didn't need much substance. There's a little feel good. Five minutes would have been a, a, a part Finally, of from me, Mr. O'Brien Chang, from where you sit, from who you're speaking with, from what you've heard, who would win the election if it, when it's called? Well, I'm a believer in the polls. 
people want to dismiss polls, but the worst alternative to polls. You know, Rumbar and talk to five friends, <laughs> and I said, that's how the Jamaica think. Mm -hmm. The polls are all around the country. It's a random sampling. They randomly pick 1,000 Jamaicans with the stat statistical science, right? And then they give it a view, and they've been very accurate in general. Jamaica has a very good record. Um, the only election, Don Anderson, and, uh, was 2016, but he was in the margin of error. He had PNP ahead, but not by much. And the 2020, they're all accurate. He had Bill Johnson, um, the late Bill Johnson, yeah. and our respect to his family. Yes, um, yes. You know, he served the country mm -hmm. well. You have um, Don Anderson, and you have Blue Dot, which is showed they're accurate also. So we're lucky. Otherwise, that's what you know, just pick out what you hear in, in, in the, in the rum bar. It, it doesn't and make sense. And those polls are showing the JLP ahead. The JLP is ahead, but not as much as by the one mm -hmm. by. And it's not an insurmountable gap for the PNP. 6% right now. Yeah. In, in the uh, most out of, out of 100, it works 55, 45. It was 40, 57, 43 the last election. But think of it if I, this united PNP can be within striking distance. If they unite, they could well be ahead. Yeah. Hmm. Thanks for coming, sir. Good hmm. to see you. Thanks for having me. Interesting you. times. Yep. God bless you and your family, sir. Same Political you. analyst Kevin O'Brien Chang. Coming up, the teacher shortage from a teacher's perspective. We'll look at that after this.